funs and bytes. And I'm gonna bring her in in just a second as soon as we set this up. But um, if you have not seen yet, you need to go to her Instagram right now while you can to check out Laura from Buns and Bites. It's, her Instagram is awesome. So we're gonna get into that, how she got started. Those things are good too. You got them? Yep. All right. All right, Laura, is she here? She yeah. good? Laura, come on in, join me. Hey, oh, and she comes with a drink. I did. How are you? Just for you. Awesome. How nice you doing? To, good. Nice to see you. Thanks for making time to get in. She's Thanks been very me. busy. We actually got together for breakfast. Oh my God, was it a couple days ago, Monday or something? It was, yes. We got together. So she's very busy. And if you check out her Instagram, you understand why. And it is Buns and Bites. I'm following her and I found it fascinating how she got started. And also in a very short time, the following that you've gained. Yes. So before we get into some of our fun question stuff, tell us a little bit about how you got started and your feelings and kind of premise behind your becoming a foodie now so right um, well I should start by saying that I felt like I was always a foodie which kind of led me to wanting to start the Instagram um, so I wanted to compile a list of all of my favorite restaurants in Providence all around Rhode Island I think that this is like the foodie state Absolutely. Um, so I wanted to have something that was a little bit different that was genuine and original um, and that definitely let me be creative. And as you can imagine, yeah. incorporating buns into food, you have to get a little bit creative. Um, so it's always a lot of fun. Um, and it started with um, looking into what things I really like and what I think that other people really like. Yeah. And as a young woman, I think that I can really appreciate a good behind. Um, and I think that almost everybody can too. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, Buns and Bites started as a way to share my favorite eats and to also appreciate and love your body and love yourself. Um, and we really wanted to emphasize working with women of all shapes and sizes Absolutely. to emphasize positive body image. And I think that it extremely goes to your credit of this. And I was you know, joking around with people yesterday as we started promoting today's segment that people are fascinated just by the fact that that's the stance that you've taken. There's no body shaming. There's no anything like no. that. And it's very tasteful. Like yes. if you look at always, it, how you've done always. it, it's incredibly tasteful. It's, it's fun. And you have been, I mean, in, in a short time, you've been all over the state. Yes. You're, you've been everywhere. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I found fascinating by it. I'm happy to see that someone locally has started this and propelled, and I'm hoping that after today it keeps going for you and that we find ways that this becomes your full-time job that you're I at. I hope there. so. <laughs> because it's really wonderful how you've got it going. And I think, you know, have a sex appeal with everything is fantastic, mm -hmm. and I think you're doing it in the right way, and I think yes. that people are appreciating it and loving you for that. So these all these restaurants all these lounges all these bars have been reaching out to you and you've had some fantastic pictures with a lot of different people a lot of different yeah. friends and things i'm assuming yes. right so is it now that people are starting to reach out to you and want to be involved do you want to have their pictures taken and doing it it's a little bit of both so i've been lucky enough to have a lot of friends who are willing and able to help me take pictures and model for me um, but all of our models are everyday girls um, you don't have to be a model you know right. professionally so a lot of them are just my friends um, and I would say that one of my favorite parts about Buns and Bites aside that I get to eat amazing food all the time <laughs> is that I've met so many awesome girls that are you know really killer in their careers and they're just motivated and they're happy to be involved with Buns and Bites and I really love that. Um, I've made new friends like actual good friendships out of Buns and Bites just meeting girls through Instagram so yes more restaurants and models are reaching out to me who want to be involved. So. And you had a very special Mother's Day model yes. that joined you and your mom. Yeah, I thought my that most was beautiful. Special model, mom did get involved. She had a good time. I thought that was She awesome. was a little bit nervous, <laughs> but I was like, it's okay, I'll help pose you, so it's fine. Well, she looked beautiful and you guys looked <laughs> yes. beautiful together. It was Thank great. You. And I was yesterday I had a friend of mine that reached out to me asking about you coming on and yes. um, Kristen Frazier. So I, I'm giving you a shout out, Kristen, because you reached out to me yesterday. <laughs> now you know Laura, and I think all of us need to get together for a cocktail so that you can talk. I some so more too. because what she's doing is fantastic and I think more people should be getting involved with you. So yes. tell us about, and you brought me a, a little surprise here today. What, surprise. What's this? Where'd this come from? So funny name. A funny it's name? called the booty call. <laughs> Isn't that just so good? <laughs> so this is from Troop. Oh, I love it. If you haven't been to Troop, you have to check it out. It's such a great place. Killer vibes. Yeah. We um, covered them when they first opened. We, yes. I think we had Sean on that came on. Sean Larkin came on first. Yep. Perfect. So, of course, the name, the booty call, kind of caught my eye because <laughs> I know 
I'm a sucker for They're going to have to start naming drinks after you guys. Right? So. <laughs> so it's called the booty, booty call. Um, but really, when I look at a cocktail list, I always scan the menu for Mezcal. Okay. Um, and I'm sure and we were just talking about Mezcal. Yeah, Jesse just brought it up. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, and it's one of my favorite liquors to drink. Um, it's got that nice, smoky, earthy flavoring. And I love it because you can pair it with bitter. You can pair it with super sweet, with berries. Um, so this ha is some Mezcal with Aperol and black cherry. And then there's some mint and some oh blackberries for garnish. So I think that you should. I'm gonna taste have to it. taste it. This is gonna be a rough day for me. I, Ooh. Oh, whoa! Ooh, beautiful I have a color. Yes. No worries. Oh my God! It's got a beautiful like aroma that. to it too. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! It's delicious. Yes. And they just made, whipped this up for you before you came over. They whipped it right up for me. Thank you guys. Thank yes. you very much to the crew over yep. there. So Audrey mm. um, is the one who came up with this drink. Um, Audrey, nice I job. Really nice that. job, nice name. Good job, Audrey. Yes. Troop is so a great place. This is one of my go-to cocktails. Um, I really think that the days of just going with a standard rum and coke or something like that are kind of dwindling down. Um, I think that people really order craft cocktails that are creative and refreshing. Yeah. Um, they want to sip on them and enjoy them. So. And you're seeing them. I mean, as these as Instagram has taken off to become a foodie kind yeah. of. Uh, social media outlet, it, it, you see more and more of these cocktails and more and types of food out yes. there that are coming up. Yep. So I, I agree with you. And I, I think that those old traditions will still be there, but I think these new drinks are going to keep coming. And this one is amazing. So all the places you're going, you're all over the place. And you've got, I mean, it seems like you've almost got a new post up every day. Is it's it pretty close to, to that, right? Yeah. yeah. So of all the places that you've been, you've been tasting some amazing drinks and yes. some amazing food. Yeah. I mean, I was just, the other day, I think you were at Iggy's is one of the ones that I saw, right? Yes, I was And you had Iggy's. a spread that was a massive across the table. Oh my gosh, that's a question I get all the time that says, or maybe a statement I should say, she doesn't actually eat all that food. And I'm like, <laughs> of course I cannot eat the 12 pounds of, of seafood in front of me. But I usually always come with some friends, a photographer, mm. another model, and we go to town, we eat. You know, so no we do, we do the same thing here. Waste. Don't worry, guys. I don't waste yeah, anything when they come here. It's not going either. to waste. So, of all the things you've been out there, what are some of the standouts recently? Not so much the venues you've been to, but what some of the eats are, some of the drinks are that you've looked forward to and think are going to be great for the summertime. Because people are following you to see where you're going. Yeah. So they kind of want your opinion, and that was one of the questions I got. Is they're like, what is she liking? What's some of the new stuff she's tried that's out there? Yeah. So I think that there is like a new place popping up every every day it seems right. as though um, so I'm always trying to keep up with what's new and what's fresh um, but some of my favorite things to eat especially in the summertime has got to be seafood where the ocean state okay. um, there's some great seafood right here in Providence if you can't make it down to the beaches area um, but really I think that I'm I'm personally a big sweet person mm. so I I seek out the sugar <laughs> I, that's what I'm doing I, I have a big sweet tooth I want the sugar I um, but it. I would say that one of my favorite things that I have encountered in the past year of doing Buns and Bites, and I've said this before, um, was the waffles, the Burgundian waffles. Oh yeah, he was Liege, great, yes. Liege waffles, um, yes. it's like completely blown my mind. Liege waffles are just so incredible, like they're Texture, their I consistency. Know. You can make it sweet. You can make it savory. Oh my gosh! He That's joined us and he was talking about yeah. it. And just the concept behind making them was yes. like, wouldn't you wouldn't think about for a normal waffle right. to come out? And I think he's still doing. I think he's still got his uh, Kickstarter or whatever it is that yeah. he's doing out there to With raise the funds for. Yeah, because that bus is going to be amazing. It's so be awesome. I, I ran into him at um, Eat Drink R.I. at the convention center a couple yeah. weeks ago. He was doing some tastings there. But you're, you're right. I like that. that bus around eating a waffle. My God, you should do an time. event on that bus. I think we I should do a Buns and Bites event on that bus. Bring the booty call on there. I'm going to bring. These things keep coming together. Drive Absolutely. that thing around the city. Yes. Before you know it, we're both going to be out there drinking all day. Yes. So your experiences in doing this has been fantastic. Yes. We're hoping that this becomes kind of a full-time thing for you as you keep moving forward. Is there plans to kind of go to spots outside of the outside of Rhode Island as well, or are you going to keep it focused on Rhode Island for now? Um, for the most part, I'm focused on Rhode Island predominantly, but um, I think that, of course, if opportunity calls, I will go to Boston. I'll go to New York. Just try, especially in my travels, if I'm in another place, I'd be happy to try, look up whatever is, you know, exciting and right. new there. Um, so for the most part, we do focus on Rhode Island. This is my home, and it's what's special to me. Right. Um, but absolutely branching out little by little, just getting to try a little taste elsewhere. So. 
So did you ever think, if you saw, how, how long have you had this one going on? This has been for just over a year. So just over a year. And yes. you celebrated your one year, I think, actually, Black Sheep was yes, coming on next, did. right? We you had, you had a party sheep. there. Yes. So did you ever think, going back a year, that you'd be where you are now? No, definitely not. Right. Nope. I, I've had this idea in my mind for quite some time, for maybe like two, three years, but I always thought it was just kind of crazy, right. like who was going to actually get on board with this. Um, and so I ended up reading a self-help book. Really? Um, you Are a Badass. I don't know if I can. Do that, but it, it is. That's the name of the book. It was awesome, and I read the last page, and I said, "Oh my God, I've got to do this. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, you know, a good wow. time. And if people don't like it, they don't like it. But you know, I've had a pretty warm reception in absolutely. Providence, um, and so we're definitely going to keep it going. So, and something I want to give her absolute credit for too on this is that a lot of these that you look at, you can open up someone's Instagram account that's out there promoting food, wine, fashion, what have you, that's out there, and you'll see 20,000 followers, or you'll see 50,000 followers. And a lot of times looking at them, and you guys and I had this conversation, you can see if someone went in, found a way to purchase a whole bunch of followers or to get people up there to make their numbers look good, and kind of get to the point where they're kind of selling themselves out a little bit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Kind absolutely. of a little more self-promotion than you would normally think. Your case has not been that, and it was very easy to tell in checking your followers, seeing the amount of people that interact with you and the yes. engagement. So, I mean, you're very organic in the yes. nature of what you've done things. So, congratulations on Thank that you. because it's not I, an easy thing to do. I appreciate that it's noticed. It's yeah. very that the word organic. It's very important that we remain organic and that we're not buying followers and not, we're not buying engagement. Um, we really want to make sure that our followers are interacting with us because we want to hear from our audience. We want to know where do you like to go out to eat? Right. Where do you want to see us going out to eat? Maybe you've got a best friend who you think should model for us. Send her our way. We want to get involved with everyone um, and you know, be a part of the community as best as we can. And I got to end with telling you that she, awesome, she has some awesome contesting that goes on in there. If you check yes. away, it seems like you're always got someone that's partnering with you to give away a gift certificate yeah. for this or go there. Or even I know you're working with um, uh, Lupe and Pat yes. for the upcoming event that's coming Cannot on. Not wait. It's going to be such a good time. Taste of Rhode Island, right? Am yes, I messing up? That's right. Just Rhode Island that's going out the Crown Plaza. Yep, so I want so I want to give them a big shout out because Laura's been helping them we as well wait. and it's a great event. A lot of restaurants participating. So mm -hmm. Pat and Lupe, you better pay, be paying attention. I gave you a nice shout out. So but there's all sorts of gift certificate things she's done, a lot of ways for you to engage with her. And I think that to like she said, to follow her, to make suggestions. And I know that people were asking me earlier, is there a way that we can go with her to do a picture? And reach out to her, check with Laura, yeah. see what the best way to get connected and do it is. But congratulations to you again and thank you for bringing me this nice drink to taste. Absolutely. I think I'm gonna go have some you, you should go finish the rest of it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to bring Marco on in one quick second. All right, Taylor, are we ready? Yep. All right, so this, I'm, I'm hoping that Marco is not like his brother because, oh, there we go. See, 